each of these men, the Navy Preparatory School is a challenge. An opportunity to prepare for entrance to the Naval Academy at Annapolis, Maryland. The preparatory school is one of the pipelines to a career as an officer. The backgrounds of these men are varied, but they all have one thing in common. The potential for leadership and a developing ability to handle bigger jobs. Jack Miller, electronics technician, third class. High school grades, average. Ability, above average but unused and undirected. After he had joined the Navy, he discovered motivation and direction that would make use of his untried ability. And he found an opportunity at the Naval Preparatory School to work toward a commission. Please make no mistake. English is not a minor or superficial part of your work towards a degree and a commission. Mastery of language is basic to all your other subjects, both here and later at the academy. When you finally become an officer, you'll need a mastery of English to give orders, to take orders. In the daily life of your profession, the ability to communicate is extremely important. Communications must be clear and concise so that intended meanings are precisely understood. In a combat situation, many lives may depend on your choice of a word. The choice of a word. Words suddenly take on new significance as they are examined, understood with greater meaning, and used with greater precision. This is an experiment on sound transmission. The question we want to answer is, does sound travel through a vacuum? Let's start pumping the air out of the jar. You will note that as the air is pumped out of the jar, the balloon expands, indicating that we do have a vacuum. Let's try the bell. Now let's let the air back into the jar. In geometry, we have a useful and interesting device known as a vector triangle. Does anyone know anything about it? Marson. Well, I'm not quite sure, sir, but doesn't it have something to do with navigation? Yes, that's one application. Now, here's a simple example. A pilot is flying to point alpha, a 050 heading at 120 knots. No problem if his compass is working okay and the air is perfectly still. However, there's a 40 knot wind from the west. What's going to happen? Miller. He'll be blown off course, sir. Correct. He ends up at point B. By using some basic geometric principles, we can determine precisely how far off course he is blown and what course he should fly to reach his intended destination. We can do this by using lines to indicate not only direction, but also force. Mathematics is an area of strong concentration, for it is the alphabet and language of science. The officers of our future Navy will be as familiar with the science of the electron as were sailing skippers with the science of wind and tide. The preparatory courses at Bainbridge will bring mathematics understanding to at least a college entrance level and ready students for the plunge into naval careers of tomorrow. The Naval Preparatory School is much like other schools. 
The ending of a classroom period brings the passageways to life. Only the uniforms distinguish these students from any others. The grading of a quiz is the same as elsewhere, and the results are awaited with the same anticipation. But the Naval Preparatory School differs from its civilian counterparts in one important respect. The students will be living and working in much the same environment as at the Naval Academy. They have chosen this school because of an important decision, to become an officer. It is an intensive year of physics, English, and mathematics for the purpose of enabling each student to prepare for entrance to the Naval Academy and once attaining that goal, to stay there until the four-year course is completed. Each man is free to leave the preparatory school simply by requesting other duty. Few make such a request. Extensive study makes leisure time a valuable commodity. Bainbridge students explore every avenue of off-duty relaxation. For busy students, time passes quickly. Nine months of schooling reaches its inevitable climax, college entrance board examinations. This measure of achievement is the most important single basis for admission to the Naval Academy. Not every man will qualify, for at Bainbridge the standards are high, but even those who do not qualify are the richer for the experience. Graduates who qualify have only a short month between leaving the preparatory school and entering the Naval Academy. For Jack Miller, it is the big step forward a step toward a career as an officer of the United States Navy. For Jack Miller, Bainbridge has been opportunity's second knock. Each fall, new students like Jack Miller 
cadets, having chosen a career in the Navy and Marine Corps, are following the path opened by the Naval Preparatory School to the Academy and to the fleet. A path of opportunity that has given a rewarding career to hundreds of men. This opportunity awaits only the decision of those who will be part of the Navy and Marine Corps of the future. Thank you.